Sisters, it's uh, my pleasure to welcome you inside the famous House of Flesh of Gory Island. And uh, also to say that the house of the former House of Slaves have been built between 1780 and 1784. So that is why the House of Slaves was one of the latest to be built in the island of Gori. Of because of the first they did from 1536, subdued by the Portuguese, the first Europeans to have set foot in Gori Island in 1444. And during a very long time, this island was between rivalries of European nations battling to control the Rabo. And the first Europeans to come to Gori Island were the Portuguese, and then the Dutch, and the French, and the British, and the French again. After the abolition of the slave trade by France in 1848, the colonization replaced slavery and the slave trade. Finally, the French stayed in Gori Island until 1960, date of the independence of Senegal. And during the full period of slavery in this very small compound, 150 to 200 people, men, women, and children, living separately in different cells according to sex or age. And the duration of the stay for slaves usually was very long of because of three months and more, uh, since by the time they get only sailing boats as means of transportation. Usually, captives are left at slave houses with registration number, rarely with their African names. So that is why when they arrive in the plantations in America, they took the names of the owner. So that's why usually black people in the US had Anglo-Saxon names. Brazil, Portuguese names, Cuba, Spanish names, AD, or West Indies, French names. And also, since they separate men, women, and children, that is why inside, one can see cells located on right and left that correspond to the typical cell reserved for only men. So that is why this one in the front was a typical cell for men. So, will you come closer? And also to say that inside this very small cell, of because the dimension. Two meters sixty by two meters sixty. Inside of fifteen to twenty men. And usually they were sitting down along the wall, back against the wall, shackles in the neck and the arms. But they freed them once a day, just in order to permit them to go outside of all themselves. Most of the time, they live inside in so bad the sanitation conditions that the first plague of epidemic that ravaged the entire island of Gori in 1779 took place from a house like this. And also, most of the houses surrounding the island of Gori were from slave houses, but during the slave trade, usually in slave houses, the traders have had sex with virgin girls. But once a girl was pregnant, they find her in Gori Island or in San Luis. San Luis is the former capital of Senegal, located on the northern part of the country. So that is why in 1815, after the Vienna Congress, when Gori and San Luis was given back to France, many of the mulattoes became French citizenship. Mm -hmm. So let's move to the next. That uh, corresponds to the former cell with for children. Kids from six years old until 70. A very small cell with a corridor leading to the bottom. Children usually lay down on the floor like fishes and sandy boxes. Mm -hmm. And we have noticed that inside corresponds to the highest death rate. But also what is particular once inside is the windows. And the purpose of the windows was first to destroy the privacy, but secondly, to prevent escape. Today, we have to keep in mind that finally, a slave house is constituted the starting point of the destruction of the African family structure. Just of because the final destination of the slaves was depending on the buyers. And for example, that is why father could be sent to Louisiana, mm -hmm. mother to Brazil, children to Haiti. The separation was total. Will you go in? Please? Oh, you go yeah. back. I'll go back. Go ahead, please. 
Yes. Go ahead, please. Watch your head and remind the step. To Side of the different cells that we're talking about. them like sardines. Just uh, uh, giving us uh, an idea. Don't try to forget your head. <coughs> Please, let's continue. Yes, and this one in my back uh, corresponds to the famous cell reserved for the young girls. Reserved particularly for virgins, uh, just because they separate women with young girls. And things come from the African custom, so that is why. They reserve a specific list and processes for virgin girls. And also, virgin girls were more privileged than the other slaves, of because they were very expensive, and for example, they don't have to go outside for any themselves. Mm -hmm. So that's why one can see this big pavement just uh, in, the, in uh, the front of the door. The big pavement, pavement will show the former place for reserve for the toilet. Mm -hmm. But uh, for that time, it was a kind of privilege. And also the bargaining was a kind of butter. But in terms of butter, the price of a child was something like a little mirror. And the price of a man was up 60 kg of because of 60 kg corresponds to the minimum weight required for a man. Just to keep in mind that the final destination of the slaves was to use them as workers in the field and in the plantations in America. So the price of a man was of 60 kg was exactly the same as the price of a virgin girl. It corresponds to a barrel of rum or wine, sometimes a firearm. And the price of a woman was what I'm cheaper. Let's move to the next. That uh, corresponds to the famous cell reserved for temporarily unfit. It was for men under 60 kg. Of because of 60 kg was the minimum weight required for a man. That is why for many of them wouldn't reach 60 kg. Usually they put them inside this cell in order to feed them like geese. And they feed them with a kind of beans, so called particularly in Senegal, Nyebe. But after three months, and usually three months consult to the time taken by boats so to come from Europe to here, if they don't reach 60 kg, they didn't go to Americas. But they sold them in auction, and they stay locally as domestic slaves, particularly in this island or in San Luis. And under the stairs in your back corresponds to the famous cell reserved for uh, for the uh, rebellious uh, slaves, uh, because they use it as a punishment for slaves. What? That's why no we know just an island with bars. And also the problem for the guards was not to know exactly how many captives it was possible to put inside the same time. It was just how to shut the door for the captive. Of because they consider captives not as human beings, but as a simple merchandise. It's just for the rebellious slaves. Mm -hmm. And uh, also by this side, it corresponds to the same, because also the reason for the rebellious slaves. The big difference is that we have two windows located on the right and left. That is something very new. Of because the two windows we have today was from the abolition of the slave trade. It was after 1848. 
1848 was a day to win the French. Abolished definitely the slave trade in France in the French colonies. And as a reminder, for England it was in 1807. For Tunisia, 1846, two years before France, etc., etc. And also the last but not least is this corridor with a door leading to the bottom. It is a door of the voyage without return of because when a slave step out from the door for the slave exams, bye bye Africa. Of because after the door was a kind of wooden bridge. Usually, captives use the wooden bridge just in order to catch a small canoe from the bridge of because the rocks to go to the big ships. Usually, was far away. And also, that is why one can see to first the corridors, like it is on right or left, where the slaves was kept before the departure. And also, inside the last two corridors, usually, was standing the guards. But they chose guards among slaves. Once they go, they chance them from the uncles the two by two. In the middle of the chain, between the two legs of the slaves, also was attached a very big iron bow, around 10 kilograms, 300 grams. So that is why when a slave attempts to escape by jumping, for example, he can go far away. Of because he died by diving, or beaten by the guards, or eaten by the sharks. Due to the people who were sick or agonizing, were thrown into the sea. And the thing is, in this very small island, of because the dimension, 900 meters long, for 300 meters large. During the full period of slavery, it was quite more than 20 slave houses like this. Today, many of them disappear. But also many of them became private houses. But this one belonged to the Senegalese state. So that's why we keep it as a place of memory and reconciliation. And also to say that the slave trade lasted 300 years in Gory Island from 1536 until 1848, during which 15 or 20 million of black people coming from all over the Western coast, from the south of the Maghreb to South Africa, who left the Western coast to America, North America, Central America, and South America, United States, Brazil, Cuba, Haiti, West Indies, and the Caribbean too. More than six million of them died because of deprivation or bad treatment, but we have noticed that the slave trade concerned only the best African ethnic groups of because of selective. And also, as a reminder, we know now that during the same period it's existed different places. So that's why today one can talk about what's happened in Elmina Castle, that was in Ghana. But also the same thing was existing in Benin, particularly in Olonomida Coast. Also in Nigeria, like Lagos, Badagri, and Calabar. Also in Gambia, like Kunta Kinte Island. Even in Capo Verde, like Sida de Vela. Included in Luango, Congo, Kabinda, Bimbia, Angola, even in South Africa. But why Gore particularly? Just of because it's positioning. This island is closest towards the American coast. So that is why usually most of the boats coming from different parts of the western coast come to this island. Not for embarking or disembarking slaves specifically. It was just due to the location of the island. So that is why usually once in Gore, they take time to look at their boats or to look for food and water before shipping to America. And upstairs was reason for trade years. But now the big question is, how those people during the slave trade could live upstairs with those happening downstairs? Mm -hmm. And also today it is quite impossible to talk only about the Atlantic slave trade organized by the Europeans from Africa to America without talking about the Arab slave trade. <laughs> that took place in the eastern part of Africa. From the 11th to the 15th century, they chose as good harbor for slaves the island of Zanzibar. And they brought slaves from Zanzibar to island Mauritius, island of Reunion, Madagascar, Egypt, Asia, Arabia, included to India. And in addition, concerning the Arab slave trade, I would like to mention the Trans-Saharian one that was from the 7th to the 19th century. But also, if in terms of period in history, the seventh corresponds to the French Middle Age. The African Middle Age corresponds to the 16th century. But it is also the 16th century that corresponds to the beginning of the West African slave trade, organized by the Europeans from Africa to Americas. And surely, it will explain most of the things. But why particularly 16th century? Just of because during the 16th century, Africans, as weapons, used only arrows not fire arms. 
And the Europeans came to the West African coast during the 16th with firearms, alcohol, iron, something like that. But they give to the African tribes living in all along the coast. And the consequences were the African tribal wars was between different tribes just in order to get prisoners, even to protect themselves, but to get prisoners to a chance with firearms. Of because the only currency was accepted by Europeans was slaves. And also during the African tribal wars, many of Africans died. But also many of them became slaves up. That is why if we now consider people who died during the tribal wars and many of them who became slaves after, one can accept now concerning the number of slaves involved. It was between 100 million or 100 million and 50 of slaves who were concerned directly or indirectly with the slave trade for first centuries. Of because the rate was for one slave taken aboard ships to America. Six or seven of the Africans died in Africa as victim direct or indirect of the slave trade for four centuries. Mm. But uh, to finish uh, today, the House of Slaves uh, is uh, a place of uh, memory and reconciliation. But uh, the House of Slaves, uh, uh, we have uh, to consider the House of Slaves that a place of memorialization. And also, it is why. Uh, uh, that is why we are working inside a very big project, so called the project of revitalization of the House of Slaves, that consists in the rehabilitation of the two buildings. This one, memorialization space, and the second building, just in the front, uh, that uh, will be in the very near future, the International uh, Center of Interpretation and Documentation on Slavery and the Slave Trade, linked to the House of Slaves uh, properly. So we suppose also to uh, build a new exhibitions of because of the old west one did not take into consideration new forms included new implications. The project, uh, the total amount of the project will be one million eight hundred thousand dollars. But the foundation of the United States put one million dollars and the Senegal state eight hundred thousand dollars to complete the project. So thank you for coming. And, uh, Thank you. And Thank you. Uh, yes, can you talk more about the uh, door of no return yeah. at this point? And also, uh, do we get a chance to go upstairs to where the, um, the governors and other Europeans were? Yes, uh, just, uh, but in addition to say that uh, uh, they use the wooden bridge. Okay, wooden bridge. So once you walk out, there's a bridge? Uh, yes, after the bridge, they use a small boat who uh, took them from uh, uh, the bridge to the big ship who usually was far away. Mm. Yeah. Also, every one of these has a door of no return in every country mm -hmm. that there's a slave. It's the, just as a symbol. Every. And when the first time, just as this chair, the first time I visit, saw one, the brother said, but you, my brothers and sisters, have returned. Yes, we have. And it took some of the edge because it hurts that so many of our people did not return. Yes, that's, that's real. So, in, uh, so that's why inside of the project we have this space. We provide this space as a, a space of uh, meditation. A meditation space. Okay. That's why you can find uh, water yes. and something like that. That's I have vibration and something like yeah. that. Yes. Thank I have them to come back. <laughs> yeah. So now you bring them before because I had already come <laughs> this way. Yeah, sure. So I've already gone in and mm. said my prayers yeah. and I said my prayers to the yeah. sisters. Yeah. But I'm laughing because I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. Thank you. I'm yeah, very happy to have you here again. Much. Give thanks. Yes. 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 Right, perfect family, so it'll be a perfect time for a group photo. It is a yes. little hot, but uh, right here is our... Okay. Mr. Bomani. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll do, um, maybe we can take a group picture with our brother. We, we, yes, yes. Uh, right. Right, okay. Right, right. Uh, family, can no, everyone no, no, line no, no, up no, here? No, no, no. You gotta go? It's all good. Yeah. He's got to wait till we finish. Okay. Really. 
Are you ready? Yeah, we're trying to take a good picture right here. Okay, come on. Come on. And the family. So maybe our brother, maybe you can show him how to use the camera. Maybe you can slide around. Do the stairs, look. Right on that. So both was the uh, European devils and the bottom was uh, stolen African ancestors. 